The Story of Babel There was a man called Noah in the Bible who was having three sons, those who went forth out of the ark, Shem, Ham, and Shaphet. And from them, the whole earth was populated because after the floods, each of them were blessed with many sons. And those sons were blessed with many other sons. These came to multiplication of sons, multiplications of nations, cities, and families. The whole earth was having only one language and one speech. Now it came to pass as they joined from the east, they found a place in the land of Shina and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them too roughly. They had bricks for stone and they used slim for mortar. They said, Come, let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach the heaven and let us make for ourselves a name lest we have scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Then the Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the children of men built. And he said, Behold, they are one people and they all have one language. And this they begin to do and now nothing will be impossible for them that they have imagined to do. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language so that they may not understand one another's speech. The Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth and they stopped building the city. So, the building was called Babel because the Lord confused the language of all the earth. To know more about the story of Babel, we invite you to read Genesis chapter 10 and chapter 11. Shalom.